Welcome back folks, Cam with Raptor Tactical, here today to talk to you about the Raptor Tactical MyFAC system. Okay, so the MyFAC system is our approach to an IFAC. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and go over the features. Uh, you can see along the back here, it can attach with Molly. It could also attach with a belt. You see you have this little slot here, and then you have one that's even wider over here, in case you just want to put it in through those loops. Uh, but this is designed to work with a belt or with Molly. And then also on the rear here, you have a slot for your trauma shears. Trauma shears will go in there. Then the bungee will go over, and then you can secure the bungee with this tab here. Along the top and the bottom, we have these bungees in place also. These are going to be two attachment points, so you can put some extra medical gear in there if you wanted to. Uh, personally, I would think those would be a good places to put some tourniquets, so you can just have those easily and readily accessible. And then you have your two flaps on either side. Uh, these are secured with Velcro. This is an improved model of the MyFAC. Uh, it's a little improved over the previous iteration that we did. Whereas these had those little ears that you would pull out. Those were just getting snagged on things and people's MyFacts were getting ripped apart when they didn't want them to be. So we decided to make that change for people. And then we improved that by adding the Velcro to keep it secure. And then we took the ears off so there's nothing to get snagged and hung up. And then nothing is going to pull out your MyFac if you don't want it pulled out. Now, whenever you're packing the MyFac, we also have these nice little portions here. Uh, the reason for that being, whenever you ha have this all configured and you're stuffing it all back together, you could use something, you can use your fingers, you can use a screwdriver or a flat piece of, you know, any kind of flat piece of material just to help you push those side flaps in. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the insert. This is the insert that it's going to come with. It's made out of heavy duty plastic. Uh, you have these four sides that all come together. And then this little red lanyard here is what is going to sit on the outside. And then this little key here is what's going to hold everything together. So the whole concept with this is that you have your insert fully packed. Whenever you need your MyFAC, you just go ahead and go in and start pulling on one of the ears once it's in there. And then this entire insert will rip out and it will open up and all of your medical equipment will be readily available and easily accessible for you. Now on the inside of the insert comes with this bungee, just comes with one really long piece. Uh, so you can go ahead and use that to secure the equipment. We'll just go ahead and kind of do a little demonstration here. I'm going to show you the way that we recommend this gets set up. So when you're doing this, what you want to do is put it through one side on the inside, come around the outside, and then go into whichever slot you need to go into. And then when you're going to tie it off, we recommend tying your knot on the inside portion, not on the outside. The reason for that is that the outside should be kept slick so that it can come in and out of the pouch. We don't want anything coming out here that's going to get snagged or hung up to prevent us from being able to get our insert out of the pouch. So you can see we've got it. It's kind of looped around on the outside there, but my knot is on the inside. And then the rest of my loop is over here. And then I could loop this wherever I need it to be. And then I can put my gauze in here, wrap it up, and just make sure everything is secured so it's not all going to shift around when it's in the pouch so that everything stays in place and I can set my things up the way that I know that I want it to be set up. So I know, okay, I've got gauze here, I've got some quick clot here, I've got whatever else I might need there. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and move this out of the way because we do not need it any longer. Now I will show you how to put the MyFAC insert together and how to configure it with the pouch. So... For that, highly recommend using some kind of string. If you can find some 550 guts, that works really well. And what we're doing with that is we're going to take the little red lanyard, okay? I'm going to attach or route the 550 guts through that. And what we're doing is this little red piece here, this little loop, needs to fit through all of those other little holes, okay? So what's going to happen is it doesn't matter which order you do this in. Just take your guts. Loop it through. There's one. Loop that through. There is two. Now we'll loop the final piece. Might have to finagle a little bit to keep them all in there. There we go. Okay. So now this is ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to insert the key that holds everything together. 
just like so. And then we're gonna pull out. When you're pulling out that gut, make sure you pull away from the grain because you don't wanna accidentally pull that key out because if you do, this entire thing is gonna pop right back open. Okay, now to put it into the pouch itself, make sure you keep these close to one another because if I yank on this too fast, it's gonna pull that key out again. It's gonna have to start over from scratch. So we're gonna open both of these flaps, make sure that Velcro is off completely. I like to roll these around to the back so I don't have to contend with them when I'm trying to put it together. I'm gonna take this insert and I'm gonna maintain control of the key the entire time. Do not do anything with this. Keep this on here, don't take it out. This is a very important part of this system. I'm gonna take one of my ears and I'm just gonna pull it through to the other side. Try to get that in there, just like that. Put that in there. Then I'm gonna do my best to continue to maintain control of that. And that's gonna sit in there just like that. Okay, so the insert's in. Now you'll take your ears, fold them over. You'll take the other one, fold that over. Now your MyFAC is configured, and then you can go ahead and secure the side flaps, secure the Velcro. We have to use that little insert part that we made. Look at that finger fits right in there. Makes it a lot easier for me to secure that. Okay, that's gonna sit like so. You're gonna come back on the other side, do the same thing. that. There's that. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time. You can pretty it up a little more once it's all said and done with. Always doing some position improvement. And then there is my Velcro. So there's your MyFAC uh, completely configured. And then whenever you need it, you just come in here, rip this out, rip that. And now your insert comes out completely. Everything pops out and opens up. And now you have access to all of your medical equipment. Also on the outside of the MyFAC, we have the little Velcro pattern here, just in case you want to put some patches or anything like that. And then something else that we did was we went ahead and just go, went ahead and marked it as a medical pouch. Uh, you know, I see a lot of IFACs that aren't marked. You know, they have capabilities for being marked, but they just come unmarked. doesn't make any sense to me. If you know it's an IFAC, it makes sense to mark it as an IFAC because you're going to want people to know that it's your IFAC so they know which pouch to reach for whenever you get shot. All right, folks, that wraps up another video from Raptor Tactical. My name is Cam. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you folks would, hit that like button. Also, subscribe and share. And then additionally, turn on your notifications so you can stay up to speed when we have a new video that comes out. Also, if you would follow us on Instagram at Raptor Tactical LC, that would do us a great service. We would greatly appreciate your support. And as always, you can find this product as well as everything else we make right here in the great state of North Carolina at raptortactical.com. Thank you so much. Again, folks, my name is Cam with Raptor Tactical. Remember to evolve or die. Thank you very much and you have a wonderful day.